Hello everyone, welcome to HelpMeta.com. So this time, uh, we are going to construct the histogram. So look at this question, please. So using the given frequency table, they construct a frequency histogram. Okay. So if you want to know how to construct the frequency table, so please watch my previous video. And this time we're going to focus on constructing histogram. Okay. The histogram case, uh, each bar must be touching each other, so which means no gap between lower limit and upper limit must uh, share the same value, so that in uh, this no gap basically. Therefore, so when you look at here, the lower limit value and the upper limit value, we have 15 and 16, so we have one one value gap here. So we need to find out. Um, between uh, the median between these two values so that they can share exactly the same value. Okay, so the median so 15 and 16 also median become 15.5. So which means you combine 0.5 from the upper limit value and then you subtract from the low 0.5 from the lower limit value basically. So what I want to do so just make an equal sign here. So lower limit minus 0.5. Then you copy down until the seven classes. Now upper limit upper boundary is we are combining upper limit plus 0.5. Okay. Now you see that 15.5 uh, and 27.5 they are sharing same value, which means there's no gap between the uh, each classes here. They also based on this data as a whole number. So we are making as a decimal boundary value. So of course there's no overlap among the data set. Okay, so that's how we do it. Okay, then let's construct the history. So you just go to data again and click data analysis. Okay, click history. Okay. So this time we are also uh, through the chart as well. So input data will be all this data. And now bin range, this time it must be upper boundary value instead. Okay, I'm going to label that. And then output, I'm going to select maybe around here at this time, and then I also want to see chart output as well. The chart output. Then we just OK. Oops, OK. So upper boundary, then outputs right there. OK, chart output. Now I can say OK. And now, you see the history here, basically. I don't need this one, so I'm going to delete that. And now, so even though we are making, uh, they are touching each other, but uh, shown history uh, has a big gap between classes here, right? So we are making touching each other. So click any blue bar here, any blue bar. Then right click, and you will see format data series. And just make gap width become zero. Okay, then you see they're touching each other, right? So that's how we construct the history. Okay, and now you can just uh, double click, then you can change this title, but this time I won't do that. Now you, you can see that they're all upper limit, upper limit value, and we don't, we don't need more, so I'm going to delete the more part here, and it will be separate there as well. Okay, so that's the Historian for this data set. But now, because everything is touching each other, so we can just see where each bar, then you can just click and format data series and then make it maybe 0.5. So we can at least see some boundary between each bar. Okay, I can see it. So I'm going to make maybe 1% one, one this time. Yes, and now you can see some. Boundary bar here. So that's how we construct the history. 
So I hope this video helped you how to consult the histogram using the frequency table. Yeah, I'm gonna just uh, come back again with constructing or give a chart. Thank you.